Hey everyone, my name's Chrissy and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. So for today's video, I thought I would show you how I style my curly hair. I want to give a little disclaimer that what may work for me may not work for you and also that the products I use are pretty pricey too. Um, if you have different products that work better for you, then go ahead and use them. Um, I've also heard that there are more affordable brands that also work really good too, but these products work really good for my hair, so that's why I don't mind the splurge. But yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there. Um, so yeah. Here are my curls in all their glory. So if you want to know how I style my curly hair and achieve these results, then just keep watching. So these are the products that I used while I was in the shower. I used the Bounce Curl Moisturizing Shampoo, the Bounce Curl Cream Conditioner, and since I'm running low on my Bounce Curl Conditioner, I mixed in some of my um, deep conditioner. This is the Matcha Green Tea and Wild Apple Blossom Butter Mask from Not Your Mothers. So yeah, these are all the products I used in the shower. I love them all so much. So when I style my hair, I like to first start off with a cream. And the cream I use is the Bounce Curl Avocado and Rose Oil Clump and Define Cream. That's what it looks like. And mm, just had to smell it. <laughs> and let me see. I like to take about like this much. I don't like to take too much because this cream's pretty thick. And I like to just put that cream in my hair. I've got a mirror right here, so if I keep looking over this way, that's why. But yeah, I just like to put this all through my hair. I like to first start off in the midsection of my hair and bring that cream down and then I like to work my way more to the top. There we go. And then take the same amount for the other side of my hair and then I also like to take some for the back too make sure you're also focusing on getting the product in this part too and not just focusing it on the outside but also on the inside too the inner parts of your hair Okay, and then I'm just going to take a tiny bit more, put it on the back of my hair. And then whatever is left over, which is like the tiniest bit on my hands, there's not even that much, I just lightly smooth it down okay so now what i like to do is just take a brush i it's got some hair on it <laughs> um the brush i'm using is from cant 2 and it's just a brush like this kind of looks like the denman brush uh, but yeah so i just like to brush my hair I kind of like to try to 
put it outwards like that so I can kind of get some defined curls and curl clumps. And by doing this, it also evenly distributes the cream throughout my hair and also detangles as well. I'm really wanting to try to do um, no part in my hair today. Usually I do a side part or a part in the middle, but I'm gonna try to do no part, we'll see. And I'm also not applying a lot of pressure too. I'm not really brushing too hard. I'm trying to brush lightly as well so that I can prevent breakage from happening because when your hair is wet, that's when it's most delicate. So now I'm going to take my gel and for gel, I am using the Bounce Curl Light Cream Gel. So I'm gonna take about this much, hopefully it shows. I don't want it to run all over the place. And I'm just going to same thing, just rake that through my hair. And then take some more for the other side I'm using the same amount. Okay, so we applied our cream and our gel. If you want to from here, you can just do a lot of scrunching and then let the gel do its thing and sit in your hair and create that cast. But for me, I like really defined curls. Um, yeah, <laughs> I just like how I just like how my curls look when they're super defined. So I finger coil my hair and so I feel like the Bounce Curl Light Cream Gel works the best um, when hair is pretty wet and I feel like um, when my hair is really wet that it's easier for me to finger coil. So I'm going to take a spray bottle right here and just spray some cold water on my hair and I'm spraying it all over my hair. now I'm going to take a hair tie just like this and I'm going to section my hair and to finger coil my hair I like to take sections of my hair um, I don't like to take them too big I don't like to take them too small and then I just wrap it around my finger there we go and And I'm finger coiling my hair outwards. So going like that way. <laughs> Some curls I do um, finger coil them inward. It just depends on if they don't want to go outward they just want to go inward now this is a process finger coiling does take a while it is pretty time consuming but i like the results i get from it so 
so that's why I do it. If you get a piece too that's kind of just like hanging, just put it with another piece. There you go. Good as new. Sometimes you may have to go over a piece too, like I am right now. I'm gonna go over some pieces. And I know for a fact that I'm gonna be speeding this video up because we don't want to be sitting here forever just watching me but you really can see how much definition there is this side compared to this side so this is why I really like to finger coil like I said it is time consuming but I feel like it's worth it for the good results. If you feel like while you are finger coiling um, and you feel like your hair is starting to kind of dry up a little or it's getting hard for you to have that slip to finger coil your hair as easily, just take some water and spray it on your hair and then it'll be a little easier for you. My stomach is growling because I am so hungry. So for the right side of my head, most of the curls go inward. So that's what I'm going to do. Most of them go inward, but some of them do go outward. Who else has a side? of their hair that just doesn't cooperate as great as the other side. For me, I feel like my left side is my better side. <laughs> Sometimes the right side just wants to play games. do a part I'm just going to take the hairs that are more short and just let them kind of free fall you'll see what I mean This 
pieces and arm work out. That's for damn sure. Almost done. Okay, so now I'm gonna spray some more water all over. Make sure the hair is really wet. Okay, now I'm gonna take some more my gel. And I'm taking quite a lot of gel, Look at that much. So, I'm gonna through my fingers. And I'm gonna flip my head over and scrunch. And when you scrunch, you really want to hear that that like squishing sound like that. Just really, really want to scrunch. Tilting my head and scrunching the side. Other side. I like almost hit my face. I forgot to mention that I do take a microfiber towel and with that we just scrunch. All right, so now I'm just gonna wait for my hair to dry and then yeah, then I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so my hair is about like maybe 80% dry. Um, so sometimes I diffuse my hair, sometimes I don't. Today I am going to diffuse it. Um, other times I'll just let it air dry. But yeah, today I'm going to diffuse my hair. Um, here's my diffuser from Revlon. I recommend when getting a diffuser, getting one with a cool option. Cause yeah, to prevent heat damage, I recommend using low heat or like cool air. Um, yeah. So I'm going to diffuse. I'm going to kind of go back and forth between like um, cool and warm, but just on the low setting. So yeah. <music> Okay, so my hair is pretty much dry. So now what I'm going to do is flip my head over and scrunch out the crunch that, as they call it, um, scrunch out the gel cast that we got. Yay! Okay, and here are the results. Yes. <laughs> Awesome, yes, 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 okay. And then if you even want to, you can um, kind of fluff your hair a little to give more volume. So just kind of flip your head over and you want to stick your fingers, you know, you want to stick your fingers through your hair and then you just want to give a shake. Just like that. There we go. Okay. There's still a little bit of a cast in my hair, um, but I don't mind that for first day hair because then it'll give me long lasting results. 
so yeah here is my hair oh i love curly hair so much <laughs> so um some things that i want to mention when you are um letting your hair dry um don't touch your hair like don't be sitting there playing with your hair just let it dry on its own let it do its thing um, you want your hair to form a gel cast um, because that's what's going to allow it to give good hold and give good definition if you want to you can just not diffuse and you could just let your hair air dry um, that really helps to prevent heat damage that's what I first would do when I started my curly hair journey is I would not diffuse. I don't think I started diffusing until like, I'm gonna say maybe like November or something. I don't know, can't remember. But I started my curly hair journey in February of 2019. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments below. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I don't think I have anything else to say. Um, I will see you in the next video. I hope you have a great rest of your day.